doing a knife review. Got a couple Merkworks knives here. We got the Proliator and the Super Shiva. Um, decided to do this review mainly because I just don't think that there's enough reviews on these knives. Uh, so I wanted to discuss some of the design elements of the knives, give you some close-ups of them, some measurements, and also kind of discuss my experience in purchasing them. Um, I was online one night, came across Merkworks, kind of fell in love with the design. Uh, and like I said, I just couldn't really find enough reviews uh, to answer all my questions. So I sent them an email that night. Uh, to my delight, got a call the very next day. And it wasn't just from some pencil pusher. It was actually one of the chief designers and engineers of the company called me up, answered all my questions, spent time with me, um, helped me figure out which knives were best for me. Um, and that means a lot to me, by the way, because I've, you know, if you've ever tried contacting a knife manufacturer, you know, one, the Spider Co, Cold Steel, um, trying to get somebody on the phone who actually knows what they're talking about is usually quite difficult. So if you are, uh, I, I cannot test enough to the level of customer service that they provide. If you're trying to find a, a company that will support you as a customer, look no further. Um, but anyways, let's, let's get into these knives here. This is the, uh, the Proliator, um, big knife. I mean, this thing is, uh, it just, you, you can't appreciate this knife unless you really see it in person. Uh, pictures and I'm sure even this video, I'm sure just won't give it justice. But um, this is kind of their stereotypical design. Uh, they have a lot of variations of this design. Um, some, you know, this is one of their bigger ones. They actually have one that's even bigger than this, though. Uh, they have some of the shorter, you know, skinnier, uh, some, some, you know, wider. Just like I said, a lot of different variations. But, um, you know, as I'm going through this, this video, just note that everything about this knife is about functionality. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's a work of art, in my opinion. But when they designed it, it wasn't meant, aesthetics were not the main goal here. It, it is it is all about functionality. The front edge is sharpened the entire length. The back edge is sharpened to about uh, that point right there. And when I say sharp, um, it is extremely sharp. Um, it is just, yes, it, it's almost scary how sharp this knife is. And for such a big knife, um, it like I said, you just got to be you gotta really see it in person to appreciate it. But um, extremely sharp uh, quality, uh, my goodness gracious. It's handmade in the United States from beginning to end. One artisan who makes this knife from, from beginning to end. Um, they use uh, either two choices of blade steel, either CPM S30V, which is obviously what I got here, uh, they also offer the CPM 154 CM blade steel. Uh, the S30V is considered their premium, uh, and you know these are handmade custom knives. Uh, they're not cheap, so if you're gonna buy one of these knives, I would probably just recommend spending the extra money and getting the S30V. It is considered a premium. You know, even the one the 154 is still good. If you're a knife connoisseur, you know you'll know that there's a lot of knife ni nice knives made out of 154, but the um, the S30V is better. Uh, it, it definitely is considered an upgrade. It's a full tang design. All of their blades are full tang design. Um, and going back to the whole handmade aspect of it, uh, seamless. There's just, it's just, you can't even feel where the blade ends and the handle begins. Um, let's discuss the handle. You can see it is rather unique in its design. Uh, they call this their chili. Uh, design handle. They have a couple that actually have just typical thumb finger grooves, probably just to appease the demand. But um, again, it's one of those things where you just can't appreciate it until you actually put it in your hand and hold it. Um, the way the fingers line up with those grooves, it just, it's all about control. This thing is not rolling over in your hand. Uh, and actually it works both ways. Obviously this knife, like I said, was initially made probably more for military purposes. So um, this would be the direction I believe if you're gonna hold it, if you're gonna be using it in a fight, a uh, knife fight that is of course. Um, but either way, total control, all about functionality. They got the gimpings on the back of the, the blade there. All again, control. Um, it's just very, very secure grip on this knife. They have uh, 
two different, well, three different options on the handle. They have either canvas micarta or linen micarta. Uh, on the canvas, they have the OD green canvas micarta, which this is. This light does not give it justice. Um, you take this thing out in the sun and you see it's, it's just a beautiful green hue to it. it it's OD, it's olive drab uh, green. Um, and again, this is their canvas micarta. They also have a black canvas micarta. And they also have a black linen micarta, which this is um, on the Super Shiva here. I got some other blades. I have several other blades actually that have the black linen micarta. None of them look this nice. It's just beautiful. Obviously the linen gives a finer weave pattern than the canvas, but um, again, it's, you just really gotta see this thing in person to, to really appreciate these, these knives. Um, the Super Shiva. Might as well show this thing to you while I got it here as well. This one is only offered in the CPM S30V. Uh, this is their bigger, okay, let me, this is their dagger design, of course, right? They actually have three different sizes that they offer this, this dagger design in. Um, this is their long one. I come, you know, I just wanted their, their, their biggest. It's just, uh, and this is a, a, a massive knife. I got to hold it back just to get, get the whole thing in view here. But, um, Again, handmade, one artisan, front to beginning to end, and I am just absolutely impressed with the symmetry in this knife. I mean, you would think that this thing was made with a CNC machine. I have CNC made knives that don't have this kind of symmetry to them. So it's just, uh, to say that skill was a, a, a factor in the creation of this knife would be a drastic understatement. But, uh, you know, again, seamless the handle design, um, very sharp, extremely sharp, very, you know, yeah, very sharp. They, uh, what I was saying was that they only offer the Super Shiva in the S30V, but you can get, I believe, the other, the two or smaller ones. They have, they, they have two other variations, like I said, they're, they're both shorter, probably more functional if you're really going to take this thing to, to, to war. Um, or use it as in, for the purpose in, in which it was designed. Um, maybe you might want to go with one of the smaller variations of it, but either way, if you're looking for just an impressive knife, man, this thing is, it, it really is just beautiful. Obviously, they're all full tang design. Very, very nice, very sharp. Um, the grind on these knives is a hollow grind. Um, all of them are hollow grind. And you get you can't get a hollow grind with this with a CNC machine. You, you, all your most of your manufactured knives that are cut with a machine are, are flat ground knives, and just obviously because of the nature of the beast behind behind that. But uh, like I said, this thing's handmade, um, and to be able to get a hollow grind is definitely a benefit. You get the you, it enables good strength while yielding an extremely sharp edge. As I as, I, as I've said many times, this, this thing is just freaking wicked sharp. Um, so it's just that they use a hollow grind on their knives. Um, the sheaths, let me show you the sheaths. When they first came out, um, yeah, like I said, I really couldn't find many reviews on them, but they, you know, well, I also really couldn't find many negative things about the company at all, but uh, some people would say they, they didn't like the sheaths that they came with, but they had, they had, they would offer upgrades. Well, now they only offer the badass. Uh, this is, this is the kind of sheath that it comes with. It is a Kydex sheath and it is functional. Um, this is obviously for the proliator. It is, these, these are handmade knives. They're going to vary slightly from one to another, of, of course. Um, so they actually, they take this, they, when they make this sheath, they actually press it onto that knife. So it is, I mean, you, you, Maybe you could find another proliator. You could probably stick that thing in here if you tried hard enough. But that sheath, that this that knife is designed. Oh, I'm sorry. That sheath is designed for that knife, um, and it fits it like a glove. Um, and also, you'll see they. I love how they did it. They have this like this little thumb tab here. So when the knife knife goes into the sheath, you just kind of push on that thing and you kind of pull it out there. But it is locked in place in this sheath. Um, so you know very, again, functional, because if you're, let's say you were had a gloves on, or, you know, I mean, if you were going to ride with a motorcycle, and you wanted to, to have this thing on the side of your hip, and you want to have such a badass knife sitting on the side of your, of your motorcycle, dude, there you go, and you could, you still could grab that knife and pull it out, but, man, unless you, unless you, you know, 
pull it out, it ain't gonna come out. unless It's not gonna come out of the sheath unless you want it to. Um, here's the sheath for the Super Shiva. Again, same design with the uh, little thumb rollover right there. Um, but yes, it, it, like I said, it's, uh, it really is all about functionality. Very high quality. Can't say enough about how impressed I am with these knives and everything that goes along with it. Um, let's get some measurements. Uh, this is some thick steel. Like I said, it's S3V. Man, it, uh, you can tell it's, the benefit of having a flat ground knife is that it's easy. You look at like, like, like a spider core respect or something to that extent. They, they just, they stick the thing in, they, they grind it, and there's really no portion of the knife that is the full thickness except for the very back edge of the knife. Uh, not the case on these guys. So they, they machine these things, and talking with the, the guy from Merckworks, they get it down to like, I think it's like 2000s variation in, in parallelism, uh, how parallel the, the, the blade is, which is just, again, it's all about quality. Um, Zero that bad boy out. I think this thing comes out. Let's see, what is this bad boy here? 273. So, I mean, that, dude, that is a thick knife. Um, that is a lot of S30V steel right there. I think the Shiba is the same thickness here. Let's see. See, I'm kind of... Yeah, about the same thickness. So, you know, they're going to vary, you know, they're not all going to be the same, but uh, talking with a guy at, at Merckworks, he, he did say that, you know, they'll never let them roll out less than 250. So, um, you know, you, you can practically be guaranteed you're going to get a nice, thick, beefy knife when it, uh, when it gets to you. Uh, they are handmade, I mean, I'm sorry, they are custom made, so, um, I mean, I'm sure, I, th I think there's like, you know, if you go to like, a, I think it's um, knifecenter.com sells them. Um, but uh, if you, you just order them through Merckworks directly, which I did, uh, they take a few weeks to get, but you know, good things come to those who wait. Um, how long are these bad boys here? The Proliator total length is a little over 14, it's about 14 and a quarter. Um, the, I mean, it depends on where you, you measure these things. And that was another thing I noticed online, too, is that uh, there's different measurements listed here. But uh, the blade itself, just about nine inches. Um, it, like I said, it really depends. This is, you know, nine and, nine and a half right there. It depends on where you measure it from. The Super Shiva is just a beast. Uh, this thing comes out at, let's see, this one's a uh, total length of about 15 and five-eighths. Again, it's handmade. It's uh, they're they're one of a kind. They're, each one's going to be a little different. Um, yeah, so I really can't say. I don't know what else. What else is there to say about these bad boys? Um, a little bit more information on the company, Merckworks. Uh, they've been doing this for about twenty nine years. I actually asked them that. I like hey, how long have you guys been making knives. Uh, they've been in business for like, you said they've been doing it for like 29 years. Uh, they did initially start out only making knives for uh, military. Uh, they, they were really just were, you know, um, probably had a, wanted to fill a need and, uh, and they did that. And then, like I said, now they obviously off, offer them to the general, comp, uh, to the general, general public. So um, I definitely plan on buying more myself. Uh, like I said, I just can't say enough about them. Um, I guess if you got any questions, uh, please go ahead and respond to this review. I'd be happy to, to answer them for you. Um, let me give you like, some, some close-ups of these things here, just in case you wanted to see them. But like, so this is the Shiva. Just freaking beautiful. I can't say enough about these things, dude. These things are badass. it's going on a view there but uh, yeah I just wanted to take a minute and show the world how awesome these things are I was just I was just really impressed with them when I got them so it's just decided I wanted to uh, share that 
three different land, you know, these are obviously hollow, so if you need to use them for lanyard holes, you can. I mean, even the freaking rivets they use are just polished and smooth and nothing, nothing protruding out. So, anyways, there you have it. Uh, a couple of Merkworks knives. Um, yeah. I uh, can't say enough about them. Take care.